I got a mail bag. About one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, it looks like. These two are already open. This I've already opened. This is a screw. This is a this is an assortment of notebook or laptop repair screws. Just all kinds of different small sizes M25 by 8, M25 by 7.5, M2 by 5.6. Uh, just various different screws, different size heads. Uh, some are flat, some are long. But uh, I thought that would be a good way to find a nice set of small screws with large flat heads. I like these note. Like these, like notebook, laptop repair screws, because they have these. Uh, they're real short, M2, M2.5, and they have these real big fat heads. So they're really good for uh, circuit boards, PCBs, and 3D prints and stuff like that. So and this was fairly inexpensive. Once I find something I like, I need to find a, a way to purchase, you know, more of them for cheap. So you never know when you need a weird size screw. Uh, this I already opened. This was um, oh, some ESP uh, 12Fs and some S's. Uh, I think there's 10 of these and 3 of these. And that's for making ESP projects. Modules. Uh, this is a very tiny very very tiny I think it's a buck converter. What the size of this thing? Super small. Uh, let's see. Mini 360 in out. Uh, I'm not sure. I think this might be. Boost converter. Because it's got a variable resistor. Uh, I'll check that out. I just love that it was so small. It's crazy small. It might be a. Yeah, it's probably a boost converter for uh, like lithium cells or something like that, or batteries. All right, next MOSFET MOS tube. Try MOSFET module. Yeah, just another MOSFET module. I got some of these. They have three different kinds. Um, they're isolated, and they're all the same. They just have different. MOSFETs on there. I thought these were really nice small modules. Uh, I think the only difference really is that they uh, have like a up to a hundred amp, which I highly doubt they're real. But those are pretty pretty nice modules, and they're cheap, and you can use um, multi different size terminals. And they have an input and an output on the out other side. So. Got a bunch of those, I didn't test them yet. Alright, another one, MOSFET. Oops. Let's see which one this is. That's another one. So let's see, this one says uh, D4184BY7A15. It's got a sharp opto isolator. This one's actually got a different opto isolator. It says FR120N. So they're actually different, different productions. Uh, this is a matte finish. This is a gloss. Huh. 
interesting. Sucks that they're different, but shouldn't matter. All right, next PC board. This is a large boost converter, I think. Well, it's probably a. I'm not really sure what this is. It's awfully powerful though, it's got a heat sink. Yeah. Oh, and it's adjustable. This must be a boost converter. Boost buck probably. And it probably goes pretty high. So comes with a little heat sink for the MOSFET. I mean the, the switching regulator. But for the switcher. Alright. Adapter cable. USB micro extension cable. Although this would be good for relocating a, a micro. I have some um, micros. This is a sorry. This is a mini. It's a USB mini. Mountable, bulkhead kind of uh, adapter. So you can run something on the inside too the outside or relocate something uh, which is something I actually need. It looks like it might have like a little LED in there or something. That's interesting. There's like a clear part right here. Huh. That's strange. I'll have to look into what that does. Um, yeah, I don't have one here. Oh, actually I might have, yeah. Thing into. Oh, come on. I, don't think, I can't imagine it would light up, but oh, this doesn't have a mini. Interesting nonetheless. So. Get this garbage out of here. Cable. Alrighty, next. Uh, doesn't say. <laughs> wow, a whole bunch of modules. Also, buck boost converters. These are LM2565. Uh, sorry, 65. LM25. LM2595. These are uh, LM2596S. Um, these come in two different versions. One's a boost buck, one's a buck only. Um, and the difference is that you can't go greater than your input voltage. So you got to be careful which ones you get. They have different, same, they kind of look exactly the same, but they have a different driver on there. I got four of those. Doing a lot of power stuff, like 24 volt control, Fans, re solenoids, relays from 5 volts. So that'll be nice. Next is accessories P5007 10 pieces. Five colors. Okay. Alright, so I really like these needle. Uh, 
they're kind of uh, back probe adapters. So I have already have some of these. I use them on my probes because they they stick stick in breadboards and they're good for back probing connectors and stuff. Uh, so I just got a bunch of different colors for data and stuff. Oh, that one's missing a pin. That's the one I have already. So I got a big pack of. Uh, Wow, there's a lot of them here. Two blues, two greens, two reds, two yellows, two blacks. So that should be all I ever need. In fact, I think I actually bought more. I dropped something. Better pick that up before I stab myself. Those are assorted colored back probe adapters. Banana Jack. Really cool. Alright, next. Temperature switch. Uh, this is just a thermal switch. I think this is probably uh, normally closed or normally open. Uh, it doesn't say. Probably normally closed. Closed. It doesn't say it. Uh, 45C. So it just uh, opens or closes, probably opens uh, when it hits that temperature for a certain amount of dwell time. That's just good for safety. Adding safeties to stuff. Uh, it says 5 amp. Uh, next, PC board. Another probably converter. Uh, just kind of flapping in the breeze there. Uh, this is some kind of LM317T. V in, V out. Probably an adjustable voltage regulator. Little pot. A different kind. All right. Next, uh, metal tools. Oh, there we go. So these were interesting. They're the same thing, but these come with some kind of caps, which will be nice to have, so um, you don't stab yourself with them when you're not using them. Well, these are made for um, uh, piercing insulation, so you can kind of just well, let me get something that you can actually you put your wire in there, and then you can pierce it and then test it without you know stabbing yourself or cutting the wire. I don't know how well that works, but it's a different kind of probes that I can I can use. And I can also model this and make copies of it and maybe cut the tip off so that I can just have it still pointy but safer so that you can't jam this whole thing into your finger. I mean, the worst you're gonna get is <laughs> a little tip. Those will be safer to have on my bench flopping around. And I could put some kind of something to hold the caps. Or I can look at how this fits and design a new cap for these. LED. Some kind of LED. Oh, these are little mini bar bar, uh, bar uh, the these are little mini bar graphs. LEDs. So these are cool. You know, if you need to just throw a bunch of indicators on something, but you know, you don't want a gigantic one. You, this just has the five instead of ten. So that's kind of cool. 
Uh, a lot of times you just want to indicate a couple couple uh, IOs or um, you know different power le levels, you know different power rails or or whatever. So that would make a cool retro indicator. I'm not sure what color I got. I, got. Um, I don't think it says, but those are fun. So that's it for now. Uh, anything else? Anything else? No, I think that's it. So uh, that's it for now. Until next time. I like that mat much better. It's real nice. And there's all these sort of screws. <laughs>